key lime calls for one cup of where am I? One cup of regular flour and one uh, two three fourths cup of self rising flour. And you'll see that we don't have any. Um, baking soda or baking powder or salt in this one. So the salt and the baking powder, whatever, uh, is in the self-rising flour. So we've got that mixed up. We need a half a cup of butter that's softened. And this has been sitting out, so it's nice and soft. The what? Yes, regular flour. And then three quarters of a cup of self-rising. All right, so we're gonna start mixing our butter up with our um, one and a quarter cup of sugar. Okay. Then we're gonna put in two eggs and we get that creamed up a little bit. We're going to put some lemon or lime. I did it again. Lime rind this time. Let's see if we can just do that right on here. Just a regular old grater. All right, that looks good. rubber scraper here. Okay, now this was a little tricky because we added the, uh, we got the butter and the sugar. We're going to add egg one at a time. our lemon juice in. All right? Next three ingredients. Lemon juice is one of them. Lime juice. I think we're going to have to put those little signs like you see at preschool of what everything is. Let me squeeze that in here. else do we need to put in here? Lime peel, lime juice, and our food coloring, which I didn't know that we had neon green, but we do. comes in a little pack. Now the, yeah, the thing with um, food coloring and lime, when you're ma ever making lime stuff and you just use lime juice and lime rind, it's not going to be green. So in order for people to understand that it's lime, you have to put the food coloring in. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. It's just one of those things where if you just made them like it, they were without putting the um, food coloring in, they would just look like regular yellow cake. Okay, so I got that going. Did I put the what? Not yet. We're going to put it in when we get that measured out. Three quarters of a cup, right? I'm 
Okay. And you can see, like it says in the recipe, it does, it looks a little curdled. I don't know if you can see it. Let me move this over here. Can you see it? And that's, it's just, that's the way, that's the way it is. All right, now we're gonna add our flour and our buttermilk. And put a little flour in. Mix that up. You always start with flour or the dry ingredients and um, end with them. It's just one of those things. There must be a reason. Okay. Ooh, that's going to be a nice green. the sides a little bit. Now don't put don't turn it on full blast when you do that. Not with the flower sitting on the top. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and spray these just a little bit. A nice pretty color. Hello. Yeah. Well, like I said, if you if you don't want to add the green food coloring, that's fine. Between the lime peel and the lime juice, these are really taste on. Now we I didn't of course use the key limes, because I don't know if you if anybody's familiar with key limes. You know what they are? They're about this big. And it's like <laughs> you'd have to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. It's not worth it. Okay, we're gonna get these in the oven. Ooh, perfect. 